Good day and welcome back to Everything Windows. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Windows XP Delta Edition Beta 2, made by Scudweep, which is released as an update for Beta 1. Also, we are going to be taking a taste at the extras that Sky provided for us. Want to know more? Check out the video to find out. Here we are back again with the VMware Workstation 16 in front of Windows XP Delta Edition VM. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, as you see on the, de on the date, if you really look careful enough in the previous video and the next two videos, I am recording four videos at once <laughs> because, yeah, well, because next week I'm going to have final year 10 exam and I don't want my study to be disturbed by YouTube, of course, but yeah, but I'm pretty much plan ahead for the future, so I shoot four videos at once, so <coughs> there we go, Windows XP Delta Edition, which is made by Skyweep over the Windows XP 2003 and Delta Discord server, be sure to join them, and let's go power on the virtual machine and of course there, there are something that is changed and there's something that added and there is something that removed and the boot screen is still pretty much the same as the windows xp delta edition beta one so it's not really the boot screen that is like changed it's about the inside of the vm or the Windows mod or unwinnable and well if you look at the this video this isn't having the unwinnable intro because as you know like this is like an update it doesn't really supposed to be have an unwinnable and the startup sound is changed eventually and we're going to see if the desktop and we are good to go Alright, so here we are in the desktop of Windows XP Delta Edition. Go to Windows R and WinVer. And there we go. Windows Microsoft Windows XP Delta Edition. Based on the Windows XP Surface Pack 3, of course. To OK. And well, let's take a look at what is changed. And one thing that I want to show is the properties, which is the system properties has a new logo with this one as Windows XP Delta Edition and the branding is also version 2022 but the one notable thing is the computer like the monitor with Windows XP logo and the background is the red moon desert with no moon I think Oh, there is moon. <laughs> yeah, so the beta background. And yeah, as you see, I'm running Intel Core i3 7th generation, which is incapable of Windows 11, and that is why I'm not upgrading to Windows 11. And I am using my Sandisk 32 gigabyte, gibibit. <laughs> yeah, I, I still have to use to the word gibibit, mebibit, and kibibit because. That is what computers do with the memories and stuff. So I use my flash drive to boot into Rectify 11 because I have the Rectify 11 copy on my flash drive. So if I ever want to get to Rectify 11, I just plug this in and I'm good to go. So I'm going to close that. And one thing that is pretty much new and going to text document and this before we're going to enable the folder option like the enable when enable file extensions nope apply and okay and going to change this as msi yes and the msi is using the windows xp icon like yeah this is the same because if we look at the Windows XP, if I'm not, if I remember correctly, it's still using the Windows 2000, I think, but I hope it is, like, different from most of the time. 
and going to I'm going to go for the wizards and going to the right shortcut and going to control panel and task scheduler yeah because I have to remember each things that ha that requires the wizard add hardware that's another wizard uh, the nope that would set up wizard there we go and wireless network setup wizard there we go we have six examples of wizards and aside from the scheduled task i hope that sky just use the like this design and no we're gonna close it and aside from the task scheduler maybe others do have issues like that but here we are we have the kind of a consistent wizard bitmap design and yeah for the most part so there we have this shortcut the install program the hardware wizard the wireless sample setup and the network setup i have five of them and this is the example of how sky tried to make wizard bitmap design more consistent one another we're going to administrative tools and we have new icons the component service is the most notable one the services the performance i think so three of those are having a new icon which is the part of the beta 2 update and it's cool because seeing more consistent well even though xp is no doubt probably the most consistent windows out of all windows version well excluding the 9x i think because it's the design the icon design is pretty much the same for over like 10 years so in case windows xp is probably the most consistent out of those and we got more consistent windows xp delta that's great we go into properties and the appearance and go into whistler style and watercolor one right now so there is the new one so this is the blue and the next one is ergonomic and the next one is olive so the five classic like the addition for watercolor theme it is now totally five in windows xp delta so the next one that i'm going to point out is the the metallic theme on the windows xp delta which is the maximized yeah i'm going to point out this one and the maximize icon is fixed totally because previous it was like the blue artifacts or the bar so it's a different color artifacts of course and there we have it with it being fixed and what we're going to take a look again is card games especially the solitaire if we're going to game and deck so the like the art of the card back is changed to somehow like resembles the winners xp 2003 reimagination the next one is going to be microsoft paint and here we are we have the new icon it is windows xp style icon with xp xpis and the set is from xpis of course and we got more consistent with this one and we're going to have another look at wordpad and the icon is also being windows xp because to make it more consistent of course and the next one is going to be reg edit which is using the react os one surprisingly but because it doesn't really show that it's react os but all right so we're going to programs and there are lots of things to see right now so first up we have the clock applet with the new icon clipbook viewer is the new icon and the two are winners whistler winners xp and winners xp beta 2 is still included in here but there are something that has changed to like extinguish the Windows XP official, the Windows Whistler, like the Hello World one, and the Windows XP Beta 2. Also, the Media Player 95 is using the recreated from 
Windows 3.1 icon, which is x I think. And yeah, that's the thing that I thought. And we go into more programs, and the Welcome to Windows is here, the Delta Edition. Sky said that the wording is a bit different right now, but maybe I think I don't really notice it, but Sky probably is going to notice so many stuff that I'm here to change. We're going to be taking a look at the extras for Windows XP Delta 2, and it is a separate ISO because it doesn't intend it to be included in Windows XP Delta Edition Beta 2, but it is like the cherry on the top if you want to experience the Windows XP Delta Edition way, way, way better than it was originally meant to be. Okay, the, the ISO has been inserted, and there is no older run as it seems, and going to refresh it and XP Delta. Oh, uh, nope, nope. I'm going to <laughs> right click it and auto run. Yeah, the auto run doesn't really seem to be responding. And extinct extras pack. And yes, all right. So it is going to copy a lot of them. And I think yes, it is going to be a lot of them, like buttload of them. Going to properties and the de oh the theme. Ah, there it is. The Royale. All of this from Windows XP Media Center Edition. And the Royale Noir. Yeah, I think I pronounced it right. It's like the Royale Noir. And the watercolor is the same. But the Zune is very different. Yeah, the Zune background and embedded, which is having a Bit of a different one, yeah. The desktop, the background is, I mean, like so many. Like, just look at that. Look at the monitor that's right there. It is so many. Well, including the preloaded Windows XP RTM one. But I think that is very, very cool. Like, <laughs> Windows XP doesn't really have that much of a desktop background, but here we are. Okay, there, there is Taj Mahal. And let's see if I can see Jakarta. Because it's like the Windows XP starter, alright? I probably think so. Yes, there it is, Jakarta. Stretch, apply. Yes, this is my capital city, baby. Mari kita lihat kota Jakarta. Yeah, I, I use Indonesian just to impress some Indonesian viewers, which is at about like 10%, I hope. but. Yeah, there we go, we have Jakarta as the desktop background, and I'm very happy, Sky, yeah, if, Sky, Sky, if you watch this video, thank you for the, for including this Sara wallpaper, because I would love to see Windows XP with the Jakarta wallpaper, well, even though I probably may have a chance to use Windows XP Star Asian, but for Indonesia, because it is probably with Indonesian branding and stuff, maybe I will explore it in the next video, probably after the exam, or probably after the, maybe 17th of August, because it's Independence Day, probably I will, I hope I can make a video about Windows XP Starter Edition, but for Indonesia, I hope so, or probably if I have, I wanted to, like, hold a copy, like the Windows 95 manual, uh, the Windows 3.1 manual. So far, I only have the Windows Memorabilia as the book guides. The physical copy is still out of reach because it is expensive for me because I have to save money. Like per month, I probably only save like at about like twenty dollars. Probably, yeah. The economy is a bit different from you guys in the USA or Australia or in the UK. So yeah, let's move on from the economic stuff and we're going to see some of the things that are in here so sound and audio devices audio no nope. sounds there we are we have the jungle nope critical stop <laughs> the monkey sounds so hilarious to me all right so we're going to 
the minimize. Oh, oh, <laughs> the Utopia one. All right, so the default beat. Oh, the critical stop. Oh, it's a uh, edge roll. Exit windows. It's a bit satisfying to be honest, the robots. Oh! For goodness sake! Alright, so that is fun to look at some like backgrounds, themes that aren't going to be included in the general XP Delta, but the extra pack is very satisfying for me because it <laughs> not that i'm very biased but the background is very satisfying because it sets like it is like from 1999 jakarta because it's because 2022 jakarta isn't really just the same because well to be honest i've already been on the bundaran hai this is the if you are not indonesian viewer this is what you would call the bundaran hai which is a place like from the hotel and if you, the right side is another building and if you go a bit far away you can see like the Indonesian Central Bank and the another one which is the Istiklal Mosque because this is the typical and the other one which is the Cathedral Church if Indonesian said it is Gereja Katedral and yeah I don't know really how to say it in English but yeah I probably even and this near to Moinas, the national monument. And all right, so okay, enough of that. This is Windows XP Be Delta Beta 2, and this is such a satisfying like update to Windows XP Delta Beta 1 because there's still been some changes. But here we go, and okay, we are going to go to shut down this like, share, and subscribe. And Join the Discord server if you haven't already, and also join my Discord server and the Windows Smooth Hub Discord server, or previously known as Rectify with Discord server, but it turned to like a center for Windows modding. Like, if you have any Windows mod, if you are uh, if you're going to showcase it, then go join the Windows Hub Discord Windows Mod Hub Discord server, and also if you have any chance, go join my Discord server. Also. I'll see you guys in the next video of Everything Windows. See you next time. Goodbye. Turn off the computer and the icon is the Lunar shutdown button is consistent with Whistler. See you next time. Goodbye.